Hi everyone, this is Kiana from Kiana's Art Creations. We have something really exciting today. So normally um, I will pour resin into a sort of surface, like a mold or I did a fish bowl um, because it's self-leveling. So it's like water, wherever you pour it into, it's gonna take the shape of um, that I guess that bowl or the mold or whatever it is. Um, so I'm gonna do something really different today and I've only done it one time. So it takes about um, 12 to 24 hours for resin to fully harden and cure. And what I have for us today is, so I'm gonna pour my resin on, um, a sheet of, I guess, freezer paper or anything that doesn't stick to resin. And before it fully cures and fully hardens, while it's a little bit soft and malleable, I am going to shape it into a bowl. So what I have done, my first experience with this bowl. So, see it has little rhinestones on it, like that. So what I did was, um, I just poured it on this, and while it was still able to bend, I took it and I flipped it over a cup, and I just kind of shaped it into the way I wanted it. So we're gonna do that same thing, but it's gonna be ocean theme, which was my five videos um, were ocean theme. So I'm gonna mix up my resin, and we're gonna start this process. So I'm first gonna make a circle and I'm gonna do it on the opposite side because I do not want um, the marker to bleed through. So depending on how big I want my bowl, how big the circle's gonna be. Now that I have that in place, around it I'm gonna put these little blue crystals. good as it's gonna get. So I'm just gonna pour my resin on here and drop the color. For this technique that I'm doing, I am pouring clear resin in the middle and then I am dropping the alcohol inks right on top of it instead of mixing it in the cup and then pouring it down. The colors will start to mix and blend better by doing this option. And I am starting deep blue in the center and trying to brighten it as it goes by. So I'm using cobalt blue, lake blue, and then um, ocean blue. And I'm also putting a couple drops of white in between the colors to define them. At this point in the project, I wanted the edges to replicate a wave, so I made the white as dominant as possible on the edges. Now I'm adding these seashells to go around the circle of the bowl on the outside. So this is my piece that I just finished. It's still wet and I'm going to need about five or six hours so it is able to be picked up and moved around and to make my bowl. I like it though. Very nice. Hi guys. So it's been six hours and my piece is able is dry to the touch it's not sticky anymore but it can be moved and folded and bended so we are going to do this make a bowl right now i am molding my resin into the shape of a bowl 
I put it on top of a flipped upside down cup and I am shaping the edges into a waveform. So I'm done shaping my bowl and I just put some tape around the edges to keep the placement of it. Hi everyone, so it's been about 12 hours since um, I made my mold and I'm gonna take it out of the paper and see where we're at. This is my finished product with the seashells. What it looks like on the inside. You can put stuff in it. Bowl. You can even maybe put a candle in it. So the first one I did was a little bit tighter on the edges. And this one is definitely wider. And I feel like it works a little bit better and holds more stuff. As you can see, it lays flat on the table. There's no wobbling. And that's it.